Hey guys, Brian and PS4 Trophies are going to show you the locations of all the dormant SIVA clusters in the Rise of Iron. I'm going to do them in order from the first story mission, the King of the Mountain. And this first one we're going to get as soon as your uh, little transport thing here, whatever it's called, oh, the gondola, as soon as that breaks open, you have to jump down this little hill. And when you slide down, before you head off to the left, turn to the right. In the corner over here, we're going to have to jump over to it, is our first one. This is Iron Lords 2.9. I'm going to show you all the Clovis Brays, the Iron Lords, and the Fallen Dormant Siva Fragments. Again, in order as you'll come across them through your game. Now, at the very end of that mission, you got this little boss fight here. And you're going to see a transport ship uh, approach here, and it's going to drop some enemies. What we need to do is jump on top of it. And you see that tall structure just uh, beyond us, be uh, just out there in the distance. It's actually going to be on top of that. So we're just going to hang out here for just a little bit. Go ahead and uh, shoot this guy. And then as soon as this thing kind of takes off, it's going to jump or take us right past this tower. At which point we're going to jump up onto it and pick up Dormant Siva. This is Fallen 3.0 is the name of it. So that's it for the King of the uh, Mountain story mission. We're going to go to the second story mission, The uh, Walls Come Down. Now in this one, at the very beginning, as soon as you start, you're going to have this area here. You're going to have a couple little fights uh, with some fallen. And we're going to go this way. Now you're supposed to go through this door up straight in front of me, but instead, drop down here. Go as far back as you can, you'll see it sitting right there. So go ahead and collect that. Now we're going to go... Before we go through that door, we're going to turn around and head straight off into the distance. So again, you're supposed to go through that door. Instead, we're going to kind of go... So from the beginning of this area, you would have gone straight to the back and to the right into the ship just ahead. Now I'm going to run straight there because I know in my last Destiny videos, people were a little upset with some of the jump cuts. So I'm trying to make this as clear as possible for you guys this time. Again, all the, the different various uh, SIVA types. I'm going to show you here. Now, there's actually 26 of them, uh, or 30 of them technically, but four of them are going to be in the raid, and the raid is not going to be available until uh, a little bit in a few more days. So I'm showing you all the ones that aren't in the raid, at which point I'll make a separate video for those. Once you get into this uh, ship, go over here to the second deck, and it'll be on the left-hand side. Now continue the story mission, and you're going to be uh, prompted to go investigate this uh, cluster thing over here to the right. And instead, we're just going to head straight back. Go ahead and, and, and interact with that. I'm just using that as a point of reference here for you. But we're going to st go straight back. You got one of these small spider machines. And tucked inside it underneath the belly there is the cluster fragment. Now, there's another one close by. So we're going to just kind of turn around. Where the stories would take you to the left. So we're going to head this way to the right. And you're going to see a broken bridge just ahead of us an overpass, and this one is going to be located and tucked right under the bottom side of it. So jump up onto this container. Now from this container, you're going to have to jump, and in the middle of your jump, you're going to have to collect it. So if you're on PlayStation, it's a square button. I failed a few times, and you may too, but don't worry, you should be able to get that. So from that location, we're going to go towards Iron Lords 2.2. The numbering system on this is, is baffling. I don't know why they didn't number them in the order in which you collect them, but I guess... It makes more sense to do it this way. So go ahead and travel in through this next area. Again, I'm trying to limit the number of jump cuts just so it's clear. There's a lot of big open areas that we're gonna try. That you'd have to kind of go through, and this being one of them. So we're gonna go through this structure here. It's actually not gonna be inside of this thing. I'm just gonna kind of run past these guys, shoot and run, take out whatever I can. All right, so once we get out, this exit here, immediately turn left. Right there behind these uh, pipes is the cluster. So we're going to move on to the Plague Lands. This is another story mission. Now this one, as soon as you land, as you can see, I'm landing here. We're not actually going to go towards the objective. All right. What we're going to do is turn right around and head backwards. And then head into... This room just down here. Understood. And to the right, as we enter it, we're going to find the uh, fragments. So go collect that. Now, from this location, we're going to actually go completely as far away from the objective as possible. So again, the objective is that way. So we're going to head over this way. It's towards the Devil's Lair area. I believe that's what it is. 
if my memory serves. So we're going to go up here. Now we're going to drop down to the left as soon as we have an opening here on the left hand side. So it'll be just around this corner here and drop down here. Now once we're here, we're going to go straight back, straight in front of them. So I'm going to ignore these enemies here to my left. And I'm going to reach some difficult enemies here in front of me, so I'm just going to edit them out. And go through the store here, and you got this column here in the center. Swing around on the back side and pick up that fragment. So now we're going to go back, all the way back, and now continue the main story path. And eventually, it'll, it's going to be a little ways. You're going to drop down to this area here, this long, narrow area. So continue up this path here, and then you're going to have one of these like SIVA growth things. I don't remember what these are called here. So jump over into this section, and you can see it right underneath it. So go ahead and pick up that fragment. Now we're going to keep going on. Now you're going to see this missile just to our left here, and just beyond that to the right of it is a tower. The next uh, collectible here is going to be in the tower. So once you enter it, Go up to the second floor, and it's actually going to be on the back side of one of the computer monitors. So there it is, and we have one more in the Plaguelands. The Clovis Bray 1.8. So again, follow the main story path, and you're going to be uh, prompted to assault the Fallen. And you're going to have three guns here, and you need to disable all three of them. So once you're in this area, go to the one on the far right. And then we're going to find this just on top of it. So jump up top and you'll see it right in front of you. Now we're going to head to uh, Download Complete, the next story mission. And we got Fallen 3.2 is the name of this SIVA. And it, this is the only one located in the Download Complete. But you're going to open up this door here and drop down an elevator shaft. And once you drop down here... This is the respawning restricted as soon as it starts. We're going to go to the back right corner. So watch out for these enemies. Uh, at some point during this fight, jump up here and you see it right on the back side of this uh, TV. So collect that fragment. And now we're going to head over to the Iron Tomb. So once you're here, the first one we're going to get... As soon as you, you're, if you're on your little uh, uh, bike here, Giant's Husk is the area we're going to. So once you reach the Giant's Husk, continue straight back into the right corner. And in this area, we're going to find a ship frozen in place. See it right in front of us here. We're going to uh, jump off here. Now we're going to go to the front of the ship. I believe it's called the bow. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not good with the nautical terms. But there is the fragment. Now there's uh, five more. There's six total here. So the next one, we're just going to continue. And this area here is where you need to swap the cores. You're going to take the one out of one side, move it to the other, and vice versa. So this one's actually just on the ground to the right. So pretty easy to find that one. All right, so moving on. We're going to head up this path here. And then you're going to be in this big open area. Pretty uh, pretty easy to de uh, determine this area. Once you get to this area, jump to the platform to the far left. It leads you to this short little tunnel, and it'll be on the wall on the right-hand side. So moving onwards, we're going to eventually drop down. You're going to reach Site 6. Now, it's not in this room. It's actually going to be just ahead. So I'm just going to bypass all these enemies. One of the nice things about a lot of the Destiny missions is you can just run past a lot of the enemies. So we're going to just follow the main story path out this way here, drop down. And then as soon as we drop down, you'll see it behind another monitor, and it's going to be the one in the upper corner here. To so jump up here and look behind it, you're going to probably have to jump in order to grab it. Okay, so moving on. You're going to go through this fun area and drop down, and you're going to do a little slide to the next area. So once we drop all the way down here, make sure you put on your little thrusters here so you don't fall to your death. 
You're supposed to enter the sea of a chamber, and that's going to be the story mission objective that way. Instead, turn around and go the exact opposite way. Now, we got a little bit of a journey here. This is a very far out of the way collectible. And you can see the tunnel we're looking for just ahead. So we're going to go up inside of here and we'll find it off to the right side once we've entered. Okay, so the next one is going to be the very end of the mission in the Iron Tomb. Before you interact with that panel just ahead of you, go to the left here and we'll find it just around the corner over here. You could do it during the, I guess it's a, a boss fight if you will. Probably best just to do it before you get and uh, start it. But go ahead and grab it. And by the way, if you're going back and replaying these missions, you can exit at any time. You don't have to finish the mission. All right, so next one, the Iron Temple. Now I have a video on my channel showcasing this entire path uh, because this is about a three-minute or four-minute uh, climb to the top of the mountain. So you're going to start your climb right here, and then we're going to make our way all the way up to the top. I'm not going to do this entire uh, climb. But check my channel. I do have a video. I'll put a link in the description as well in, in an annotation. But once you get all the way up to the very top, right next to this campfire where these two other fellas have, have managed to get to, is the uh, collectible right there. So grab that. And that is it for the open areas. Now I'm going to do the strike areas. Again, I'm not able to do the uh, the raid um, ones yet because that raid's not available. But we're going to do the Wretched Eye. This is a, a strike. And once you get into the silos, uh, room number one here, the number one on the outside of the door, it's going to be up in the center up high. So you got to climb up this set stairs here. Turn around, jump to this pipe just in front of us. Turn around and do another jump. See, this will do right up here. And now we can jump to the center, the suspended thing here in the middle. And right there is the uh, fragment. So go ahead and get that. And then we're going to move a little further in. This is actually in another silo room. This is going to be labeled three. So when you, the silo areas are, are kind of confusing. But look for the one that has number three written on the side. You can see it, it's three right there. Now you can enter this room from a couple different ways, but once you do the second container from the top, you have to make your way up to, and it'll be in the roof of this one. So the next one's going to be in the silo uh, area marked number four. Look, so look for number four, it's the yellow one. Now there's two yellow silos, but once, we in the, once you get to number four, you have to make your way to the top of the containers. Now from here, we're going to have to jump to a couple platforms that are going to fall as soon as you jump on them. So we're going to make one jump here to this one in front. Again, it's going to fall. So quickly jump to the next one from here. And then look for this little cubby hole on here. So pick that up before your platform drops. And that's it for this strike. We are going to actually go and do the new revised Devil's Lair. And we have to do the, no the level 320 version of this. So make sure you select light 320 and then you're going to get back to this old friend of ours and once you've destroyed the spider thing and through the next doorway is the boss fight but before you do go to the room to the left and go upstairs you will find it in the locker now you can also do this in the patrol so you don't need to be on the strike in order to get this one but it's much easier if you're doing the strike and there's another one very close by so we're going to go back down where we beat the uh the first boss of this strike and it looks like my team has died so let me go ahead and save them here or at least try to this will be embarrassing if I die yeah right, so let me go ahead and revive this guy here now the next one on uh, the next area to get to the the boss you're gonna go through the door right there but before you do right behind this uh, right this thing uh, whatever those things are called so right there on the side, go ahead and collect that fragment. Now we're heading to the boss. So we're finding Septic's perfe uh, Perfected, the new version of him, if you will. And once you enter his uh, the boss area, 
We're gonna go straight back. In all his glory. We're gonna immediately run to it. There he is. So just head back on the left side. Drop down here, and right here in the corner. Underneath the broken uh, platform is the fragment. So that is all of them, guys. I did not show you the ones in the raid because they are not available yet. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, make sure you hit the like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe.